I come in here and he's sniffing his wood. <laughs> oh my lord, bro. Y'all are, are crazy today. <laughs> What's up, everyone? How's it going? Big day today. Big day today. So yeah, let's go ahead. We'll get into the unboxing here. We have a lot to unbox because this board is pretty complex. I guess we'll just start with whatever's right here on my right. All right, so I think this is the weight right here. Ooh. Bro, just tell me that this doesn't just give you Iron Man vibes, though. But yeah, it looks really nice. I love their copper. Mode's copper is just really clean. We have the mode stabs, which are great. So we'll be using these today. Definitely recommend these if you haven't tried them. Um, super easy to mod. Haven't had any issues yet in the past few times I've used them. So got some foamy foams, uh, plate foam, case foam. We got all the foams for you today. Dude, a PE foam. Dude, imagine I put my desktop as PE foam. That'd be crazy. So you got all your foams covered, which is always nice. So you can modify the sound however you would like. We have these right here. These are the bronze switches. And these are one of those like hexag hexagon top housings that you've seen recently. Uh, they're kind of that newer style of switch. They feel really good stock too. It's just really nice green color. So yeah, I really like these. But here's that fluted accent, uh, which you can see here. It is just beautiful. Then you have your magnets and stuff in here. Keep in mind these are protos. It's so like there's a bit of scuffing from testing them out and stuff as well. But this will not be kind of like in the final units. But this is just from swapping a lot of times for content and stuff. Does it make a sound? Oh, it does. Here, let's see. It does. And this is the maple, I think. Yeah. So this like kind of matches my uh, desk a little bit. My desk is a little more white oakish, but pretty close, pretty close. It looks really nice. It smells really good, chat. I don't know uh, if they oiled it or it smells like good in a good way. A taste of the earth, if you will, you know? I come in here and he's sniffing his wood. <laughs> oh my Lord, bro. Y'all are, are crazy today. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff on the internals. Yeah, this is the badge right here. We have all the lattice options. It's awesome that they include all the lattice options for you to completely customize how you would want the board to feel. We have the daughter board and the feet here. We have all of our screws and bits right here. We have some lube. Love always that they give you this just to touch up your stabs. Super, super nice touch. We have more tools. Another mode switch puller, keycap puller, and screwdriver. I use this thing all the time. I love it. It's probably my favorite one I've ever owned. So awesome. Here is carbon fiber plate. Love my carbon fiber. So that's what we're going to be using today. Got our PCB here. I always love their PCBs. I got a sneeze chat. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> You guys ready? Ooh, it's nice. It's nice. I went with cream and copper. I'm a big copper guy and I wanted something pretty versatile this time around. So I went with this and uh, man, it is quite gorgeous and it weighs a lot. So super excited to give it a go. Yeah, we're going to be using tiramisu today. It's like my favorite cream set. So that's kind of what I wanted to use to match the vibes. So these are just like a press in foot. Makes it easy, I'll tell you that. It's not really any thinking here. No fiddling with sticky stuff. I like that. We got a couple of Pokemon keycaps in. So this one here is Jolteon. And then we have Lugia. Struggling to focus here. No, I don't think it's 3D printed. I think it's all sculpted. Yeah, they have like a new batch going, I think, next week. So if you guys are into Pokemon and Artisans, these are always super awesome. So definitely recommend. It's kind of weird. I'm getting like nostalgia building this keyboard. Because like this was one of the first keyboards I built. Okay, so I think we have to screw in our um, piece first. 
this little guy. The badge. Ooh, look how that sits in there. Ooh. Very nice. Dude, my logo centered on this badge would be hot. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I would love to see some custom badges. I think that would be sick. There's it with the weight engraved right there. Pretty dope. And this is, I'm holding a solid piece right now. For those of you at home, there are two different like styles for this 65. As you can see here, it's rounded on the bottom and squared on the top. You guys know I'm a big novelty guy. So we're gonna put all the novelties possible on this keyboard. Dude, tell me that doesn't look good. I agree, the accents look really good with the maple. That's crazy. That's a pretty board. So we have the crema top, maple accent, topped off with GMK tiramisu. Inside we're using the bronze linear switches. There are some of those like diamond switches. This is the side profile here. Very clean side profile. Very classic, timeless. Can't be mad at that, honestly. Little accent sticking out right there. Here is the back. Ooh, now that's a, that's a sick angle. Dang. That's hot. That's hot. Here's the booty. Ooh, goodness, that copper. I know you guys see my forearm flexing down here. This is a very heavy board. Getting our curls in, getting our reps. You know what I mean? Let's hear how it sounds. So we have no foams in here, carbon fiber plate in the softest lattice block config. Damn. She clacking. She clack a lacking, dude. Dude, that sounds crazy. That's impressive. Uh, not much hollowness in the top row. We'd like to see that. Like usually the top row sounds so like dead compared to the rest of a keyboard, but here it's pretty good all the way through. This row right here sounds bonkers. That sounds pretty damn good. That space bar is something else. I was just curious about us changing out the space bar switch with one of these bad boys. So this is where the Ghost Dragon space bar, honestly, this switch sounded fantastic. This isn't much of a difference actually, um, to be honest. Yeah, space bar sounds great either way. Cause this isn't really a long pole as far as I can tell, compared to the Ghost Dragon, which you can definitely feel it a lot more. Let's get the copper accent too, and we can show that off here. With this set, I actually prefer the maple, to be honest. It's because it matches the accent so well, but this matches the mods really well. Now that is a look. Yeah, that fluted accent is awesome. There, I like top mount with softer plates, but with like alu or carbon fiber, like we have now, I usually prefer a softer plate for top mount, but that's just me. All right, so we have top mount blocks in now. Same build, otherwise. No foams, GMK tiramisu on a carbon fiber plate. Let's give her a good old little sound demo here. Yeah, I like it the other way better. So I think it, it's probably just the build here, Flyback. I think carbon fiber, you know, with top mount, I think you either go alu or you go with like a softer plate. I think I definitely liked it better with the other, with the lattice. It still sounds good though, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's pretty loud. I think in general, in the top mount, there's a bit more resonance in the whole bore, a little metallic undertone. It's not like crazy terrible. 
but it is there. Like you could probably just mitigate that with a little bit of case foam or something, but it's not like the worst thing. Pretty cool board though. I really like it. I think for me, I think I like this overall more than the original. They, the new designs are really nice. The new mounting system is phenomenal. A huge improvement in my opinion. And this accent is super sick. Look at that. It just looks sick. I don't know, I just love it. Guess we give our ratings, right? Yeah, so for design, I think this is a really well done classic design. Uh, I can't think of anything personally that I would like, like to see different, you know what I'm saying? It's like for me, I'm thinking we're probably sitting at like eight, five, nine. I would say for me, the only reason it's not a 10 is just because I prefer a little bit more of like an out there design. Like design wise, I do like this more than the Envoy for sure. In terms of sound, I think with, like I said, with like a plastic plate or a softer plate material on the top mount, I think you could definitely be there. Um, for me with carbon fiber in this specific build, I didn't really like that. So for top mount, I would say today we're looking at like a six. For the lattice, that's a 10. That thing sounded crazy with the lattice box. It definitely got a reaction out of me, which doesn't happen every time. So yeah, I really liked it for the lattice block mount. And yeah, in terms of typing feel, you know, I, I always like the fact that with their boards, in the lattice you have a variety right you have super squishy super solid now you have top mount so yeah you can really dial in your typing feel so in that regard it also would get a 10. feels really nice to type on it just looks really nice on the desk to be honest and with tiramisu it looks fire yeah you can mix and match the blocks as well that's that's true i think in top mount with a stiffer plate i would say you might want to get foam because i am there's a bit of resonance in there and I know not everyone would like that. Otherwise, I think for the lattice, you would be fine without the foam, um, unless you just like a thockier sound. If you like a thockier sound, you're definitely gonna wanna pick up the foam for sure. I think you could even technically, uh, I'd have to test that, but could you also mix top mount blocks with lattice blocks as well? So you could like top mount some areas and, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Could you like top mount the top and then lattice block the bottom. I don't know. I don't know why you would or what the benefits or pros cons would be, but I don't know that it's possible. It's worth maybe attempting. Does it get the smooch of approval? I think we might know the answer. Let's put the maple on. I think the maple, as good as it smells and as much as it matches the uh, accents of these keycaps, it deserves to be the one to get smooched. But this is, one of the most pretty accents I've seen on a keep. We need more of this. That's sexy. Mode 65 2024 edition. Is it smoochable? We'll hit the tiramisu right here, a little coffee cup, you know what I mean? And then you gotta get that ass. <laughs> Beautiful. Good job, Mode. Good job, Mode. You did a great job again. No surprise. No surprise. Any keep is smoochable. That's true. But our smooch around here holds a holds a certain weight. Overall, a great board. Really happy with it. Think it's a great addition to the lineup. It's cool to see them revisit an older design. And yeah, can't wait to see what they do next. But yeah, this goes live on the 17th, I think. So you guys can stay tuned for that. We'll be having some photos videos posted about it so you guys can watch that kind of stuff so thank you guys i hope you enjoyed the stream thank you mode for the opportunity and until next time i'll key you later peace can we talk about how passionate this man is about keyboards you know how loud he is right now he's this loud all the time see you later chris